Fucking you. Oh, here we go. You day, Dusty Cougar. Good night, good night. Yo, we're at a Green Day rally, Brisbane City. There's like 30,000 people, easy. So we've been shut out of all the pubs, all unvaccinated. We're uh, shut out of pubs, restaurants, cafes, everywhere. Mask or no mask, doesn't matter? Doesn't matter. You need to be double jabbed. You need to fucking boost the shot every six months. Wow. So I never thought we would get here, but we're here. So we're going full fucking retard in this country. Now, a lot of people, Australians say, no, 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 there's parts player. There's parts of Australia that are bad, but there's parts of Australia that, that are not locked How's down. How's the show going? He's smash blind drunk yet or what? Not drunk at all, uh, but I'm getting kind of tired. I can't believe we said 24 hours. We should have said all night long or something. Now, what's the general consensus among Australians? Are they pissed off? Do you have Karens that love it and think you should get more jabs? Yeah, there's a lot of people who are just sheep. Like, people are just going with the flow. You know what I mean? This country is full of people who just... Uh, it lies too easy for them, man. Like, we get paid pretty good. Life's cruisy, so people are just going to keep voting the same way. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter to them. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. That's not good. It's not good. I can't believe it. Like... Must have been five years ago I started to get involved in political shit, go to protest, you know what I mean? And I never thought that I would be in this situation. So many of my mates have been, this week, just lost our jobs, gone. We, so next censored episode, we're speaking to firefighters, nurses, teachers, fucking every profession who have just been gone. Our jobs are gone, you know what I mean? They don't give a shit. Well, let's see the crowd. I want to see some of this these 30,000 people. Can you see? Wow. Wow, oh, that's this great. This crowd goes probably 10 kilometers. Really? If I sat here, you could just watch the crowd for about 40 minutes or past. Cool. Well, that's really inspiring. I mean, you say there's a lot of sheep. Heaps of like censored subs are coming up, and they're just like, Yeah, people yell out dusty all the time. Oh, really? Great, I'm probably gonna get killed one day. <laughs> <laughs> that would be great for ratings if someone would stab you. Yeah, try to make that happen now. He's got brother black lungs, I was, he's got the bag with my earphones, so I lost him in the crowd. Do you know that dude, Avi Yamini? Do you know the dude Avi Yamini? Hang on a sec. I'll find a quiet spot. Hang on, I'll stop moving. Now he's at the quiet spot. Okay, can Here you hear go. me, Dusty? Can you hear yeah, me? I can hear ya. Do you know that kid Avi Yamini? Yeah, yeah, Avi, yeah. He's good. He's kicking ass over there. I mean, there's got to be some heroes. So, Arby's down in Victoria, right? Mm -hmm. And uh, most of the time, so all of our states have been locked. This whole year, I've been locked in Queensland. I haven't been able to go anywhere. Uh, Arby's down there. That's an absolute shithole, communist hellhole down in Victoria where Arby's from. That's where it's just completely fucked. You would have seen, like, the rubber bullets and the like punching on the coppers were uh pushing old ladies over and pepper spraying them and all this shit that's down in melbourne city in victoria that's where arby's from wow Rebel media it's funny that he came from israel where he was totally abused for being in gaza and then he comes to australia for freedom and then it's back to the same old fucking totalitarian <laughs> bullshit that's right at my work, like, so I'm a concreter, right? Like, every day I'm pouring slabs of concrete in the hot sun. And these, the people who are concreters are all, like, the low socioeconomic immigrants, right? Like, who all come come to Australia from war-torn hellhole, shithole, third-world countries, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. And it's like, 
they're, the good thing is they're all on side. They're all like, I did not come to this country for uh, authoritarian, sh- like for another authoritarian shit fight. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And maybe that's like Arby. He's come from a fucking shithole, Israel. It's pretty much a shithole over there. They're surrounded by radical Muslim fuckheads. You know what I mean? Yeah. So what's the future? I mean, are there are there going to be riots? Are they fighting back? I I don't understand. I can't help but think it's the lack of guns amongst the populace that is making uh, the authorities think they can bully the citizens so much. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, I mean, we've got protests. Brisbane City, we've got a massive protest once a month. That's kind of the big thing. So, like, so this crowd is just going to keep going past us. It's never going to stop. Uh, every city, every city, there's planned protests once a month. This has happened all year, and they keep getting bigger. So never in the history of Australia have we ever seen protests this big. But it's unbelievable. We have all alternative right-wing political parties uh, rising up. We have a guy named uh, Clive Palmer. He's the equivalent of Donald Trump. The guy's a mining uh, billionaire. He's worth $13 billion. He started a political party, the Australian uh, United Australia Party. So he's been coming to our protests. Uh, he's bankrolling like a whole new political party. He's pretty much the guy. I'm going to back this guy. Like, I'm pretty sure he's probably our only hope because he's cashed up. He pretty much doesn't give a fuck. No one's going to sue him. He's just going to sue back. He's, yeah, that's the guy. He's a bit more articulate than... I mean, Trump, I love Trump. Trump is an absolute fucking legend. Every time I've watched Trump, it was like watching a comedy show. Even my wife, like my wife's not political, but I'd watch Trump. Every speech I'd watch Trump and my missus would be like, holy shit, this dude is hilarious. I'm like, it's a comedy show. So, I mean, he's he's probably not as savage as Trump, but he's got that, he's cut from the same cloth. You know what I mean? But I thought, I remember the election, when was it now? like five years ago, you got a conservative so had, as your uh, PM, right? We have an election next year in uh, March. In March, So then we have our state elections. It's kind of like every two years, every four years you'll have a federal, but then you'll have state elections in between that. Do you know what I'm saying? Yeah, we do that too. So we, we just came from a state election in Queensland and the biggest problem we've had is a lot of left-wing parties have won up the state uh, elections because pretty much the elderly, right, the elderly got uh, afraid of the virus and they were like, shit, we better... Uh. The lefties were talking hard, like, hard line, lock up the borders, and the old cunts who were worried about dying of COVID have pretty much uh, gone from traditional right-wing voters to left-wing. That's what's happened. Because the, they're, they're all worried about, oh, I just got to fucking, you know, get another few years in. They don't give a shit about their grandchildren or the freedom. Like, you know what I'm saying? I just had a kid. My kid's one years old. I keep telling my wife this. I'm like, our kid is going to have to be use QR codes, sign-in apps every fucking where he goes for the rest of his life. Is that what's going to happen? We yeah. didn't grow up like that. When does it end? That's right. got to be the sticking point. Like, people got to think of their children. Like, don't you want to live in a world where you can... It should be the way we grew up, man. We didn't have to do any of this shit. Now that... So we have the QR apps, right? We have to sign in with our phone. Every time you go to a shop, they want you to sign in. I don't fucking do it. I just walk in, right? The normies, the normies use the apps, right? And then what they're doing is now the talk is, is that going to connect it to your bank account so if you go in and spend any money, right, they'll know that you didn't sign in and they'll send you a $1,000 bill in the fucking mail, Holy right? Sh- it's so all it's AI all doing this. You and don't even you, have to show up. If you go up. to pull cash, right, if you go to pull cash out of an ATM, it's all these ATMs house have signs in front of them. This ATM is going to be removed. So we're going to head towards a cashless society. 
and then and all our, every every dollar you spend is going to be fucking trapped. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, this is all in the Bible. It's the mark of the beast. In Northern Europe, they've got these guys with chips in their arms where they give up their uh, their status by scanning their arm. And that's that was in the Bible. Like, this is end of days shit. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's like mark of the beast shit. Yeah. If, if you've been following, like, a lot of my episodes, we always run into these crazy street preacher people, you know what I'm saying? And I always, like, run up to them and just be like, yo, what's happening? Is this shit, like, Mark of the Beast or what? Because I, I tend to feel like the, um, where's Black Lux? He's not here. <laughs> um, all right, we got the boys here, Gab. All right. Here's your gang of merry men. Uhuru. Get in for the huddle. Yeah. Proud of your boy. How you going, bro? Hey, Holy shit, look at that tux. <laughs> <laughs> we made your fancy show really shitty. <laughs> look, look at those bloody legends. <laughs> Dude, what kind of shirt is that? That's tight. Look what you did, Gavin. Look what you <laughs> created. What have I rocked? <laughs> and all we've right. all been locked out of the fucking pub. That's, that's the worst part of all this is the lack of pubs. Let's check back in with you in a bit, Dusty. Yeah, all right. Hit me up. All right, guys. Wait, that's British. Mate, I guess I should have said. Yeah. Fuck, I fucked it up. 